Hi, my name is Gary, and what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how you can use the Google Forms add-on called Doc Appender. And what I've done, and the, the reason that I'm using this is because uh, my students are starting um, in the science classroom some individual uh, uh, body systems experiments. And what we're going to do is spend tomorrow basically drafting uh, their experimental design. So what's the problem? Question, hypothesis. And uh, this has been something that the students are still a little bit new to. Uh, we've also been discussing the concept of variables and scientific method. Um, and what I want to do is I want to give them some opportunity to share this with others and also get some feedback on it. And you can do this a couple of different ways. You could have them print it off after they fill this in and just write in the document think about comments. But what, what um, this tool DocuPenter does is you know, I made here a folder in my Google Drive and I've used uh, the add-on Doctopus to name this. And so I have all the documents of all the kids in right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, a Google form. So here's my live form here. And that kids can actually access and give feedback on specific students. That'll be pasted right into their document. And this is great if you're trying to give feedback on student work. It's great if you're using like Writer's Workshop or something. So I'm going to walk through the process. So I've made my, my questions. Uh, I kind of asked just uh, Right now, there's nothing in here, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to populate the students' names into this question, and then I have some numerical data and then some paragraph data that will be you know, put into the, to the document. So you're going to go to add-ons, and if you don't see Doc Appended there, you're going to get add-ons. But once I do, I'm going to open up the sidebar. And um, it takes you through some preliminary setups, like, for example, uh, you know, what's the document you want to work on and such. And uh, since I have a whole list of them in that folder, I'm going to set it up so all those will be in the drop-down menu. So first thing it says target doc folder. Just create the, the select the doc folder that will be containing the Google Docs. So um, since I already have this, I'm just going to go into my drive, and I'm going to put it right in the same, uh, well, basically it's going to be the folder that all the student documents are already made and named at. So um, the document here is called Summative Lab Human Body Systems. And going back here, it, remember that that's it right there, and select. So that's it. Hit next. Okay. Now it says choose a multiple choice list or checkbox that will determine which documents to append. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the list. And what's the name of the student you're evaluating? So what that means is that this is the question here that will basically um, populate. And so I'm going to save and populate with selected questions. So what that means is that here now when the students go to this question there's automatically going to be the students names there so you know here you'll see that the names of all the students are right here automatically for me so I don't have to put them in there manually or worry about um, you know making a, a specific sort of um, you know writing all these long responses out um, now that I've done that um, I'm going to go next and what are the form values? Uh, first of all, I want students to submit their username. They're going to basically put all these questions in there. And enable. So that's pretty much it. And what's going to happen, it says run your account when the form submissions arrive. So, you know, with the normal Google form, you have like your view responses here. And, you know, here's like what a document looks like. Here's like the student, Angus Vickers. And he hasn't written anything in here right now. But when the students uh, do start working on this, I'm going to have them peer assess three people. So I'm going to make this peer assessment uh, form here accessible to them. It's going to refresh that. And now that I've done this, my name is here. And, for example, Angus Vickers, he's right here. And he doesn't have anything in there right now. But uh, let's say that he didn't have read this, I would say... Um, a great understanding of control variables, but I don't think I, he quite understands what it is to manipulate uh, and what is like the independent variable. Okay. Um, how about this hypothesis? Um, I'll say um, great, um, but I would suggest that you 
read it to make sure that something maybe that's worth something is more clear. So uh, now that I've done that, I'm just going to submit. So what Docker Pender does is, you know, here is obviously my folder here, is it takes that that form submit and you know here is the you know form itself and the responses. But the really cool thing is that Docker Pender actually takes that and it pastes it in there. So you see me or that what I just submitted <clears throat> has been pasted at the bottom. So you know as a as a teacher you know it's helpful to me to see how students can use peer review to help themselves and and I can see you know for example what what was submitted there's obviously some data here but um, this tool so this this student Angus see this right here and you can do that multiple times so students can see a variety of perspectives so that's a uh, doc appender nutshell uh, hope you enjoyed <laughs>